All right, so yeah, after pretty much fucking everything that has gone on, are we really shocked? Are we really fucking shocked that any of this shit fucking happened? Are we really, like, like we're so desensitized by everything in this country because we're so fucking used to like shootings, fucking like white people not getting prosecuted for fucking like racial hate crimes, white privilege and the fucking criminal justice system and shit. Fucking, you know, just typical shit. Um, but at the same time, every single time it fucking like something like this happens, like I get fucking pissed <laughs> and there's going to be rioting everywhere because of this shit. There's got like, like absolutely. I fucking condone the fuck out of it. This is exactly what happens when people get fucking pissed off that whenever a system functions like this to only benefit rich white people benefits rich white people, all right? Like you what the fuck? Like, you know, this is kind of just what happens. This is th this is exactly what happens when like, a system benefits the people in this country who are Caucasian, white, or, like, you know, they, they, they also have fucking money. You know what I'm saying? If you're a rich white man in this country, you could do fucking anything. You could get away with doing anything. Like, you don't even have to be fucking rich. You could just literally just be a fucking white person. <laughs> like, and literally get away with anything. That's what this is fucking, like... I'm honestly surprised we've lasted this long as a fucking country. I'm I'm so fucking surprised that, like, we haven't had, like, a dozen different civil wars. Like, one civil war is not enough. <laughs> like, if there's any consolation, like, one war defending whether or not slavery is fucking okay... Like, you know, that that's really not enough. And I know there's gonna be, like, a bunch of fucking, like, fucking just bigoted racist pieces of shit. Like how my other fucking uh, opinion on the Kyle Rittenhouse fucking video. Um, you know, just, like, overwhelming fucking, like, negative fucking feedback from people. It's like, what the fuck ever? You know, that's kind of what's expected when you're fucking on the internet and shit. Uh, when you're trying to become a public figure and, like, you... Uh, put your opinions out there and shit. Um, you know, it's kind of just what fucking happens. Um, one minute. It's kind of just what fucking happens. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. Um, so pretty much Kyle Rittenhouse is found innocent. Um, I'm fucking pissed. Uh, and this all fucking had to happen before I had to get fucking ready for work. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm just beyond fucking pissed. Dude, how many, how many fucking times is this going to happen for people to realize that, like, we really don't have any other choice but to fucking, like, tear up the fucking streets and riot and shit? Like, how fucking long does this have to go on for, for people to realize that, the system is fucked. America is fucked. America is fucking just, like, broken. Like, really? I, I, I don't... I don't fucking get it. I really don't get how people could fucking sit there and defend this piece of shit-ass kid. And to every other fucking... Every motherfucking bitch. Every fucking, like, asshole that likes to defend these fucking kids. Especially this one fucking cunt on my other video was over here like calling me a clown and shit like that. It's just like, whatever. You could go ahead and fucking call me that. I'm really not entitled to fucking like have any consideration for some fucking cunt over the fucking internet that decides to go ahead and fucking call me names. It's just like, whatever. It, it, it decides to, it like, it fucking happens. And like, everybody tries to fucking be like, you know, oh, well, you know, this happened and yo, Kyle Rittenhouse can't get charged with this. It's just like, really? Really? So this kid decided to take a fucking, an assault rifle that he legally was not allowed to own, crossed over state lines. He wasn't fucking intending to do anything else. Like, with the fucking gun, he wasn't going out to hunt. He wasn't going out to fucking, like, go to a shooting range. Like, this kid, literally, the main fucking purpose of this kid going across fucking state lines to a BLM fucking protest was to fucking kill people. 
once you like put yourself in that kind of situation where you are intending to fucking do harm to somebody else and you have a deadly fucking weapon, you're officially a combatant. But let a fucking like let a fucking black dude or like some other minority like get caught with some like non-violent fucking criminal offense like selling fucking weed or whatever like fucking selling dope or whatever the fuck because they don't have any other choice because a fucking nine to five fucking dead end job down the street doesn't fucking pay them dick. Like, let them fucking, like, let them go to court for some shit. Let them fucking get in trouble for that and then let them get like... Let them fucking, like, get, like, like, serious fucking jail time or, like, even prison time for that fucking matter. Like, and have the trial, like, have them reach a fucking verdict in, like, what, like, fucking, like, two, three, four days? Like, dude, this country's fucked. America is fucked. I I'm sorry. I like, I and I, <laughs> I love how I'm fucking wearing a, a fucking American bandana and shit during this. But, dude, America's fucked. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else you people want me to fucking say. The fact that we're constantly having people defending fucking people like this is kind of just answering the question, is America fucked? It's all, it's been the process of being fucked. We've like stuck our dick in our own fucking ass decades ago. It was only a matter of time before it fucking came. Like Jesus fucking Christ. Dude, like... I'm, I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I guarantee fucking to you, there's going to be like so many fucking comments on this video being like, oh, yo, you're a fucking piece of shit. Yo, you're a fucking clown. You're a traitor. You're a fucking dumbass. You know what the fuck you're talking about. It's just like, whatever. Like, are we not fucking seeing the same goddamn video? Like, are, are we not seeing the same fucking thing? We really are living in two different fucking Americas. I, like, if there's any kind of like, um like, summary to fucking close off this video, we're really living in two different Americas. Two completely different fucking realities. That's just the way it fucking is, unless we could fucking change some shit. Until then, um, this country's fucked. Jesus fucking Christ. All right, you know what? <laughs> this country's so fucked, dude. I'm so fucking mad. Fuck this kid. Fuck him. Fuck his pe fuck his fucking family. Fuck everybody who supports him. Fuck all these like bigoted fucking racist pieces of fucking dog shit that don't even deserve to fucking live. But you know, they have nothing to fucking live for. You know what I mean? This really just kind of proves my point that people with the fucking uh, pro gun people that support the NRA really are fucking traitors. They, they fucking are. There is no fucking pro-gun group of people that fucking act specifically like the fucking NRA. There is no fucking pro-gun group of people. There's none. My fucking God. Anybody out there who fucking supports this kid, you guys are fucking retarded. Fuck you. <laughs> My God. Fuck this shit. I'm out. I'm done.